One of the things that I really wanted to learn how to do in Inkscape was import fabric swatch images and create my designs using the fabric swatches as the fill or the color for my patterns. I wasn't sure if this was a possibility, so I recently spent some time looking into it and I wanted to share with others how to do just that. I have a directory where I've saved several different images from which I want to work and show you how to do this. Uh, there are t uh, several ways that you can import these images into Inkscape. One of them is you can go to File, Import, and you'll get a window that pops up and you can browse to the location where you have your images stored. Select your image press open and use the default settings and then you have your fabric swatch image imported into Inkscape. The other method uh, is a little bit easier. You can simply have your directory open and grab the image that you're interested in and drag and drop it into Inkscape. As soon as you let go of the mouse button, the dialog box jumps up, you just select OK and again you have your next fabric swatch uh, option available. So to go through this tutorial, I'm just going to create a basic square inside of Inkscape. And now let's look into the different ways that you can color this. Uh, one of my first thoughts was to play with the uh, color tool, the eyedropper. But as you can see, clicking around on the images, it just pulls the color that the eyedropper uh, is over in that particular pixel. Uh, which isn't exactly what I'm looking for. So I looked into it a little bit more and what you need to do is first select the fabric swatch image that you are interested in. Go to Object, Pattern, Objects to Pattern. Now when I come back and I select this rectangle, I can go to Object, Fill and Stroke, and then select Pattern for the fill. And note that the Pattern Fill defaults to the pattern that I just set. Um, and you can see all the different default patterns that exist within uh, Inkscape in this drop-down menu. So I'm going to go back to this Pattern 4180, uh, which is this Allison Glass Mercury uh, print in, I believe it is, Oh, the indigo blue color, uh, colorway. So let's do that same process, but using this collaboration image. So again, go to Object, Pattern, Objects to Pattern. And because the Fill and Stroke dialog was pulled up, you could see that that populated and that there's a new pattern fill available, Pattern 5623. So now if I go back and I select my square, and I change to Pattern 5623, you'll see that I'm getting a replication of many of those different prints. So how do you change? So if you have uh, a print and you want to change the scale, or you only have this collection image and you want to use one of the fabrics within that collection, uh, the way to change that scale is to work with the Edit Path by Nodes menu, which is the second one down on the left-hand side. So I'm going to click on the Edit Paths by Notes. And then I will be able to manipulate my geometry that I've drawn within Inkscape by grabbing the square nodes. And let's say that I'm really interested in the bicycle path and I want it to be that lime green color. So I make another square, a three by three square, and it's drawn in on that. And then I click away and I go back to my selection tool, now I can resize that image and see what it's doing? It's changing the scale of the image at this point, so it's stretching and growing. So those are the ways that you can manipulate the image around. So if I decide, okay, now uh, that's great and I'm going to piece it so that the bicycle path is running horizontally, but now I want another block and I want to piece it differently, I'll draw it beside it. Again, I will come back to the Fill and Stroke menu and I will select Pattern uh, and I will change back to Pattern 5623. Use my nodes to then move around to 
the mercury coral color and then resize that block up as well and you will see that it didn't work exactly because uh, the print was so tiny I didn't realize I was getting a little bit uh, of the other colors in there so I can just go back to my nodes and readjust one more time to crop the last of that out so that is how you work with prints within Inkscape I hope you had fun uh, and enjoy playing with these new options.